What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on the live stream. Yes, the stream went down once again about four o'clock in the morning. Uh, it is what it is. Well, eventually um, some light's going to be shining in the darkness of whoever's behind the uh, suspicious activity. Anyway, what's going on out there folks? It is Friday, uh, July 30th, 2021, almost 1 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Uh, activity still kind of kicking up here along the west coast of California with a 2.5, the latest quake on the globe. Um, this follows some uh, heightened heightened earthquake activity over here around the South America region where they had a 6.1 earlier today. And also some uh, further movement down here around the Fiji area and also the Indonesia region. But we're still kind of watching for uh, possibly some more significant movement up here on this section of the uh, Pacific Plate. We'll see uh, see exactly how it plays off over the next couple days. Uh, let's see if we can get this right. It just, it takes a little bit of time to get everything back to normal uh, once, once I get everything going here. And then we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. Right about there, okay. So stream is up. Everything's looking good for now. Of course, every time I say that, someone decides to pull the plug on me. I'm not for sure why. Maybe they think it's funny. Ha ha. It's getting old. So what's going on with the earthquake activity around the globe? Here's the latest information on the USGS map. Like I said, a little bit of movement over here around Japan. This is some older quake activity uh, late last night, 4.5. But since then, we haven't seen any significant movement over here yet still kind of pretty much confined over along the eastern pacific and into the south america region aftershock activity still continuing in the alaska region we haven't seen anything major as far as any type of major aftershock yet uh, 6.1 still stands as the main aftershock following that 8.2 earthquake there in alaska uh, looks like 5.5 sometime today but overall uh, just typical what you would see in the aftershock sequences there in the Aleutian Trench subduction zone. There is that 2.5 right around the geyser area. Of course this is the 2.5 map and above. There's the all magnitudes. Things kind of kind of looking wimpy for right now. We're still seeing some movement over here around the uh, Cascadia mega thrust. This is some older activity from last night but still within a 24 hour period. Uh, but looking at the movement for the most part in the Northern California area just kind of stale at the moment up here in Washington. Seeing the line of activity ramp up. Of course, we have been watching the trimmer kick up here in the northern part of the Cascadia uh, and also pretty much Oregon and Northern California as well. We've seen that last night kick up pretty, uh, pretty significantly. I'll show you guys real quick a reminder of the trimmer map from last night. Uh, northern California, uh, parts of uh, up into Oregon as well. Some movement there in Washington and also in the northern end of the Cascadia all that uh, movement kind of subduction uh, taking place following that 8.2 earthquake there in Alaska. We'll see what it looks like a little bit later uh, this evening as they update their page roughly around 6 p.m. my time. Uh, some further movement into the Great Basin region and also into the Intermountain West, Lake Tahoe, or not Lake Tahoe, but uh, uh, Salt Lake City area north and getting a little bit of microquake activity. Uh, also up into the Yellowstone region, we've been watching kind of a swarm of movement take place following that 8.2. Uh, at least within the last couple hours, things look like they're kind of calming down a little bit. That signature right there on the map is at 6.2 in the uh, South America region. Showing up on quite a few stations there, but as far as any localized earthquakes taking place in Yellowstone, I don't see it yet. I don't see any thunderstorm activity taking place or registering on the uh, seismographs either, uh, but that's possible it could change later this afternoon um, as they get uh, some thunderstorm activity possible in the region. Uh, nothing on the east coast at the moment, looking pretty quiet. Puerto Rico kind of calming down uh, as well, but still movement in the uh, Middle America Trench region see some deeper activity 4.1 uh, just north of Guatemala Mexico region 107 kilometers for that earthquake also some further movement down south here we're kind of watching near Costa Rica 
Uh, there is that 6.1 in Peru. 33 kilometers, looks like it's uh, right around the Peru-Chile Trench. Uh, Ecuador Trench, just right on that border right there of the, uh, of the different names. You can see that written on that line, that plate boundary, subduction zone. That's a pretty good area for some large quakes. But uh, what do we got here? East Pacific Rise, a little 5.0 out there in the Pacific. So overall, folks, um, still heightened earthquake activity on this section of the globe, uh, this section of the Pacific Plate. Uh, deep movement continuing down here in the Fiji area with no adjustment up here yet into the Japan region. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that will change here pretty soon. All right, folks, uh, once again, the stream is up and running. Um, for how long? I don't know. It's not on my end. I've done everything I can to uh, make sure that it's not a fault with my system, my internet, any of my equipment. What's taken place is out of my control. Um, I just hope they get tired of uh, pulling the plug on me eventually. If not, I'm just going to have to continue to uh, uh, restart the stream and then uh, maybe talk to some uh, computer savvy type people that might be able to help me pinpoint the exact uh, errors that's triggering my reset of the computer. Um, I, I don't believe it's I don't believe it's a computer at all. Um, if, if anything, it's one of these apps that I'm using, either the Earthquake 3D app, uh, potentially uh, a Java-based program. I don't know exactly how they're doing it, but they're sending a string uh, that's sending a fault, a fatal fault, resetting the computer. Eventually, it will be, uh, it'll be found out. All right. Have a good day, folks. We'll chat you a little bit later. Um, stay cool. It's supposed to be 108 degrees here where I live. A lot of heat throughout the country. Um, and that's not going to change for here in California, unfortunately. Looking at hundreds pretty much all weekend and all next week. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.